In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how we are able to get fast, unlimited internet in our van with the help of this Netgear M1 mobile hotspot router. This hotspot allows us to stay connected and work anywhere remotely from the comfort of our van. With a small upfront investment, I'm gonna show you guys how you can also do the same in your van, RV, or tiny home, maybe even a bus. We're Jake and Heather, and we live in our self-converted Sprinter van, Lady Liberty. We sold our belongings and downsized our lives to live a life of freedom. A life on our terms, chasing adventure and discovering new places while living life on the road. We wouldn't have it any other way. Follow our van adventures as we travel throughout North America. If you're new here, my name is Jake with Jake and Heather Go and Live Free. If this is your first time visiting our channel, feel free to check out our full van tour. I'll leave it linked up right over here. And if you're feel feeling extra generous, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button down below. This motivates us to keep making more videos. But let's get back to how we can get unlimited internet with this Netgear M1. They're portable. You can bring this with you outside, in a hotel room, on vacation. Um, you know, if you only do van life or RVing on the weekends, this is still a great solution for you and it's very cheap at only $25 a month. It makes sense and uh, I don't know why you'd go any other route. So uh, let's continue on. The price of these can fluctuate quite a bit. Uh, I believe a new model just came out. I think I paid over $300 for this one uh, used or refurbished one or the other. And right now you can get these for $275 on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, that's a great deal. It's a brand new unit. Like I said, I think the price dropped a little bit on these because uh, a newer model came out. But this one, like I said, still works great. And this is the one I recommend. And this is the one we will be using uh, in this video. So let's move on to it. If you are on a budget, uh, don't forget to check out like eBay and Amazon used products. You'd probably be able to pick one of these up for around $200 right now. Save yourself 75 bucks. All right, so you got one of these coming to you in the mail. What do you need to do in the meantime? Well, you're gonna have to head on over to Reddit. Yes, I said Reddit, not because I want you to get lost in memes or conspiracy theories, but because there is something called uh, Visible Party Pay. Visible is the service provider that we use for our mobile internet. It's based off Verizon, so it has great coverage, and it's only $25 a month. Now, the way you get to that $25 a month is by using Visible Party Pay. Party Pay allows up to four people to be part of the same party. The benefit of this is a reduction in monthly costs for each party member. When a party has four members, each member only pays the $25 a month for unlimited talk, text, and internet. The beauty of Party Pay is that each individual is only responsible for paying their share of the bill, which means you can be in a party with complete strangers without worrying about having to foot the entire bill and chase them down for money. There's a subreddit called Visible Party Pay where you can find and join visible parties um, that still need members in order to fulfill the four member party so that everyone's getting the $25 a month uh, price or the $15 a month discount you can say because it's normally if you sign up for visible uh, as only one member it's $40 a month so you can save that $15 a month and it's pretty easy to do by going on reddit so why wouldn't you want to do that don't forget we live in vans every dollar counts why don't you go ahead and get accepted into a party go ahead and order your sim card we were able to get ours um, overnighted via FedEx for no extra cost now once you get that SIM card in the mail, you could go ahead and place it inside your M1 router and it will work, but you'll notice that the speeds are really slow and I'm sure eventually they throttle you and make them even slower. Again, I'm not sure, I just know that I did test our M1 router with a T-Mobile card when we first got it and it was slow. Like, I mean, you couldn't even do anything you'd want to do on your computer normally. It worked, but it was painstakingly slow. So the way we're gonna fix that is by changing the IMEI number of this mobile router so that the SIM card thinks that this is a cell phone and not a hotspot. The IMEI number is how the SIM card deciphers what type of device it's in, hence why we're going to change that IMEI number and kind of sort of trick the SIM card into thinking that it's in a device other than a hotspot. So you can kind of think of an IMEI number as like a VIN number to a car. Um, you know, a VIN number tells you all different types of things about a vehicle, the color code, 
the manufacturer, the manufacturer date, what type of car it is, is it a Chevy, a Ford, etc. So the IMAI number does kind of the same thing for uh, electronic devices, usually devices that uh, have cellular capabilities. So it'll tell the SIM card whether it's an iPhone or Samsung, whether it's an iPad, a tablet, an iPhone, or in our case, a hotspot. So by changing the IMEI number of this device, it'll allow the SIM card to access full speeds. It won't be throttled because it won't think that it's in a hotspot. It'll think it's in a phone. So you'll get the full data speeds that you would typically get if it was just in a normal phone. Now, don't worry. If your head is spinning, relax. <laughs> I'm gonna walk you through it. It's super easy to do. If you have a computer and know how to click a couple buttons, I'm sure you'll be all right and you'll be able to figure this out. It's really not difficult. It might get a little technical at times and you might get a little nervous. Again, don't worry, slow down, pause the video, watch it. If you're really having trouble, reach out to us on Instagram at Go and Live Free. I'll be glad to help. All right, so like I said, these next few steps are where it may get a little bit technical, but don't worry, we're gonna get through it. Uh, you will need a Windows computer. In my case, I have a Mac, but I use Boot Camp and I can boot into a Windows operating system. If you don't have a Windows computer, if you are a Mac user, you're either going to need to install Windows via Boot Camp on your Mac computer, or just borrow a friend or family member's uh, Windows, Windows computer. I'm sure they'll let you use it. You only need it for like two hours and you can give it back. No harm, no foul. So the program we'll be using to change the IMEI number of the Netgear router is called DC Unlocker. And you can find it by going to the website. I'll put it here in the description down below, dc-unlocker.com. Once you go there to the webpage, you'll notice a green box in the top right hand corner that says download. You'll go ahead and download the program. While that's downloading, go ahead and create an account. This account will allow you to purchase credits, which we will need to rewrite the IMEI of the, um, of the router. So make sure you make note of your account. But once you create account, you're going to need to purchase some credits. Keep in mind, the credits are in euros. So one credit equals one euro. So a little more than a dollar per credit. So the service we need costs 29 credits which comes out to about 35 US dollars. Like I said, I know you gotta pay some money, but it's only a one-time investment and trust me, it is all worth it. Go ahead and open up the DC Unlocker client application. Notice a server tab with a little blue earth icon next to it. Click this to log in with your account you just created. Once you enter your login info, hit check login. You should see your username and the credits available to you that you just purchased just below. Go ahead and double check, make sure you have 29 credits. You can leave the application running for now, just minimize it, get it out of the way. Go ahead and plug that into your computer using the USB cable that it came with. Open up a web browser and in the search bar, you're going to want to type in 192.168.1.1. This will bring you to the Netgear M1 router login page. If this is your first time seeing this page, you will log in with the username admin and the password password. It is recommended that you change this so that Anybody connected to your uh, hotspot cannot change your settings on you. Navigate on over to the settings tab located at the top of the page, then advanced settings. Under the cellular tab, make sure to uncheck data. While making changes to the IMEI settings, we don't want the Netgear M1 attempting to connect to the internet. Next, on the left side of the menu bar, go to the setup tab, followed by mobile router setup. Turn IP pass through on so that we can edit the IMEI. Now keep in mind that you'll need to use another internet source while changing the IMEI of the Netgear because you cannot use the internet provided by this mobile hotspot at the time that you're rewriting the IMEI. You need to be able to connect to the servers via another internet source, so just keep that in mind. You may have to do this if you're living on the road, you may have to do this in a Starbucks. If you're at home, you should have a home internet service that you can use, so just something to keep in mind, you know, if you're living on the road while doing this, you are going to need another internet provider. You could just hotspot from your phone real quick. After turning IP pass through on, you go ahead and click save. It's going to reboot the M1. So after the Netgear reboots, head back on over to the DC Unlocker application. Under select manufacturer, select Sierra wireless slash Netgear, and then leave select model on auto detect. Hit the spyglass icon to search for your connected Netgear M1 hotspot. You'll notice all the information shown below once it detects your mobile router.
Now it's time to change the IMEI number of your mobile router so that the SIM card in the router recognizes it as a cell phone instead of a hotspot. For this next part, you will need a valid IMEI number to assign the Netgear M1. Uh, the easiest way to find an IMEI is from an old cell phone. Uh, any type of smartphone from the last 10 years will work, whether you have an old one sitting in a drawer or a backup or a spare. Really, any IMEI number will work as long as it's from a phone, like I said, within the last decade. Now, if you don't have one of these, uh, Google will be your best friend. It's pretty easy to find an IMEI number of a cellular device online. Uh, use your imagination. Like I said, it's not too hard. Again, if you're having troubles, feel free to reach out to us and we'll give you a hand. I'll help you out. All right, so you have an IMEI number ready now to rewrite to your Netgear M1 router so that when we change that IMEI number, this router now turns into a cell phone according to the SIM card instead of a hotspot. Head on over to the Advanced tab on the DC Unlocker application. Select Repair IMEI. This is what we will use to rewrite the IMEI of the Netgear M1. A window will pop up prompting you to enter the new IMEI number. Enter the IMEI number you've prepared. You'll notice it was successful by the information below. Next to IMEI, you should notice that it now shows your new IMEI number. All right, just one last thing. Make sure you go back to your web browser, signed into your hotspot, go ahead and turn off IP pass-through. You don't need that on anymore. Make sure you go ahead and turn that off. You'll also need to turn cellular back on. One last thing, you're just going to want to add an APN for whichever SIM card you're using. In our case, we're using the visible SIM card. So we're going to use the APN name visible and the APN is V-S-B-L-I-N-T-E-R NET. And you can find any of these for whichever SIM card you're using with a quick Google search. Just Google the carrier you're using and APN, and it'll tell you the settings you need to add on this page here. Congratulations. That's it. You did it. I told you we'd get through it. It's really not very difficult. As long as you followed along, your Netgear M1 router should now have a new IMEI number that mimics that of a cell phone. What that's going to do is now you can put any SIM card in here that has an unlimited data plan. And as long as you have service, you can now enjoy unlimited internet via Wi-Fi in the comfort of your van, RV, bus, tiny home, or even small apartment. I hope this was both insightful and helpful to you. This is exactly how we are able to work remotely in the van full time. Uh, you know, today everybody needs internet. We need internet for everything we do especially when we're on our laptops. Tethering from the phone is very limited, usually very slow. This solution has been great from us. I've played Call of Duty Warzone with this internet. Uh, I watch tons of YouTube. We watch Netflix every night in bed. Um, this has really been great. It's been an awesome loophole and I hope it works just as well for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions or concerns or something's not working for you, feel free to leave a comment down below, reach out on Instagram messages, or send us an email, goandlivefree at gmail.com. We're super responsive. Thanks to always having internet, we can answer as quickly as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to grab myself another beer, and we will uh, catch you in the next one. Cheers.